Hey there, this is Zach and welcome to another episode of Lumix Tutorial. In this video, we are going to cover the topic of video resolution, what it is and how it will affect your workflow and how to take advantage of it. Let's dive right in. First of all, I believe that you have already known about some video resolutions. Your TV probably play back at 4K, your smartphone can shoot high resolution videos, and your PC monitor probably has the resolution of 2K, 4K, or even higher. So what is video resolution? Put in simple terms, video resolution is measured by the pixel it is displaying. For instance, a full HD video has a resolution of 1920 by 1080p. That is 1920 pixels horizontally and 1080 pixels vertically in the tradition 16 by 9 aspect ratio. On the other hand, a 2K image has a resolution of 2560 pixels horizontally and 1440 pixels vertically, also known as Quad HD. And a 4K resolution refers to a horizontal display resolution of approximately 4000 pixels, which most of the case it will be slightly less than 4,000 or about 3,840 by 2,160, also known as Ultra HD. Now, in my hand is the new Panasonic Lumix G6, which provides you with tons of different recording options from the typical Full HD, 4K to Cinema 4K, which has a resolution of 4,096 by 2,160 which also result in a 1.85 aspect ratio, thus giving you this tiny little black bar on top and bottom of your video. Not only that, the camera also gives you option to record beyond all these resolutions up to 5.7K. But what is the use of shooting in all these fancy high resolutions when your screen can only playbacks on normal full HD? Well, turns out there is a lot of benefits by doing that. First of all, having more pixels in your recorded video will always means you have more flexibility when you are doing editing. You can zoom in, crop part of the image, make some movements from a still shot, stabilize your footage better. More flexibility always means a better work experience, since now you do not have to worry about losing pixels when zooming in and doing other effects. On paper, if you recorded your video in 4K, you can zoom in 50% into the image and still get a full HD resolution. Not only that, there are more benefits even when you're not planning to do any kind of zoom or cropping. If you record your video in 4K, not applying any kind of cropping and export in full HD format, your video will still look sharper compared to if you shoot at full HD. This is called downscaling. It compresses 4K pixels, making it appear sharper than a normal video. Well, however, shooting in high resolution does not mean it does not have any downsides. One of the more significant disadvantage is that the file size will be way bigger. Shooting in a high resolution video will always result in a bigger file. Not only that, but the writing speed of the file into your memory card is more demanding. For high resolution, it is often a must you record using a faster SD card, CF Express card, or even straight into an SSD hard drive. So which resolution is the best one? Well, professionally, we always want higher, but you as a creator should understand your own direction and choose your resolution accordingly. After all, a camera is only a tool and you get to decide how to use it. If you have any questions, drop your comment down below and we will have professionals answer your questions. I'm Zach. Thanks for watching and I will see you in another video of the Lumix tutorial. Thank you.